thank you very much for the the, the intro. Uh, I thank you very much for the invitation. Uh, just uh, a little uh, a premises uh, that I have to I want to do. Um, so um, we are in a very different position comparing also to what described uh, uh, in, for my 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 previous uh, presenters. Um, my talk we we take care about uh, our history much more. We we was born in two thousand two. So we will, uh, I will represent a little bit the platform of SLN, uh, which is the, the from warm Michael Mosh, the solid lipid nanoparticles, from uh, from where our patents and papers came from, some general concepts and some simple uh, summary in uh, last application, and then few words on, on nano emulsion. Uh, my premise was to be that uh, I'm. Um, can you listen to me? Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, my premise is that in, in the I'm an engineer, so I'm not uh, an, a biologist, a, a, a neither a, a chemical. Well, good, good chemistry. Um, I do a lot of many other things uh, before in my life, and then uh, I fell in love with uh, with nanomedicine in the early 2000s, where the situation were were very very different from now. Uh, the field is really huge, especially with lipid nanoparticles. Uh, Vaccine are an example now. Um, so I have to focus a little bit, and I, pre and I prefer to focus on our system, although it's, uh, it's, it's a particular one. And, um, and then I have to say that the Vaccine, uh, I spoke with people uh, in, uh, in this area who is working uh, in the raw material area. I can say much more. And they confess me how the COVID, uh, uh, the, the pandemic helps uh, in uh, approval of uh, liposomal or let's say uh, of lipid nan nanoparticles. And uh, how difficult was uh, since uh, um, some years ago just to, to manage for registration of uh, a pure uh, liposomes, for example. So the, the challenge is, is huge. Uh, the nano, nano is, uh, is very promising, but challenges is great. Uh, the first. Um, the first thing uh, is just a uh, nano vector we established in 2001, precisely coming from the University of Torino. Uh, we are located in Torino in Environment Park in, the, in that position. We are a formulation company and we was just born to exploit the proprietary know-how and IP in drug delivery. We are fully independent and very, very small. Our facility is a kit for formulation, uh, but we have no uh, biological characterization. So all the data we, we show about uh, about characterization in in biology is, in biology is, is coming from other teams. Uh, uh, so we, we participated to a lot of projects to do that. We've got a small green room and uh, we are certified ISO 9001 no, no, 2015. Our main skills in microemulsion, solid lipid nanoparticles, lipids to microparticles, and nano emulsion. Um, here is uh, the, the, all the, the project in which we have been involved. So we have a, a very, very big, big uh, participation to the European movement uh, about, uh, about nano, let's say, since the origin. Uh, so in, in, 2000, in the early 2000s, it was very difficult to speak uh, with, uh, with the pharmacy, pharmaceutical company about nano. Uh, their uh, attention was, uh, OK, it, it's promising, but we have to see. And so we, we, we play a role to, uh, we also for, for surviving for money, let's say for financial point of view, with all this project in uh, FP6, uh, with the local uh, government and the Italian government. Now we are just focusing on three small, I mean, let's say different kinds of projects, more focusing on uh, risk assessment and, and safe by design uh, approaches. Uh, and uh, we, we are more in, in the research area with the orbital, uh, which is an INT in ocular application. What we did is mainly surface modification for specific targeting, uh, knowledge on barrier overcoming and contemporary loading of drug and diagnostic agent in the in the past in all this project. We are speaking about lipid nanoparticles, so traditional carriers can be polymeric and uh, oil and water emulsion. Then we're speaking about lipid, uh, uh, lipid matrix, so lipid nanoparticles. Uh, and we, I put on, on the left uh, the difference between the uh, liposomes and the solid lipid nanoparticles. So mainly the, the surface is the same, probably uh, very similar with the uh, uh, with the phospholipid uh, head uh, on, on the outside. Uh, the difference is in the core. So we have got an aqueous core, um, for probably more flexible in case of uh, of the liposome, more rigid a little bit, uh, and more consistent with solid lipid nanoparticles. 
Uh, I want to I want to remember that uh, in the in the if you if you're looking in Scopus, uh, most of the papers you can find uh, in the early in the early in the early moment about so, solid dipping nanoparticles. Uh, we we give a great, great contribution because at the moment the team was working hardly on uh, on application of the system, and most of papers were on cancer application. I know most of you can be interested in cancer. I invite you to to see and contact me me for 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 uh, bibliography and so on. Um, then later we 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 moved to to application at uh, so different kinds of application. At the time we work on uh, Dr. Rubicin uh, and and Patrick Axel uh, and a lot of other either Rubicin. And a lot of other people, uh, even cholesterol beauty rate. Um, <clears throat> coming back to lipid nanoparticles, uh, um, we are speaking about solid lipid nanoparticles. So the first, the first stage of solid lipid nanoparticles were mainly uh, a solid core uh, a drug uh, is inside, uh, and the external was uh, in, in a different way. The second generation uh, work uh, more on. Uh, on, on making the, the, the core less rigid, let's say, less crystalline. So uh, amorphous state was, was the, 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 the keywords to, to, to work on. And now we are at the third generation at least. Uh, so the lipid drug conjugates, uh, you can speak about ion pairing, uh, you can speak about the, the nanoparticle of, uh, of, of complex lipid, lipid mixture, uh, some of them uh, covalently bound to a drug. The problem is that the, the, the solidification of the internal core can 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 put away the, the substances and gives uh, uh, to the to the carrier less stability over time. The uh, the scheme of the of the particle is is this one. So you have got a surfactant. For us, it's mainly phosphodiscoline. Phosphodiscoline co-surfactant we, we helps to enhance the curvature of the of the of the layer, and the internal phase, which is an hydrophobic phase. Uh, I want to spend a little bit, um, little words on lipid nanoparticles because the the, the one we are we are leaking, we are listening in, in Vessin are, are reported to be lipid nanoparticles. So nano precision, uh, for example, report these kinds of, of images. I just want to see, want to make you that the, 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 all the systems are very border one to each other most of the time. Uh, if you are taking the previous uh, images uh, and we uh, change the oil with water, for example, we obtain a water in oil in, oil in water microemulsion, uh, a system on which we play. So uh, you you can understand how 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 close are all the all the all the different structure uh, we are speaking. Of course, the surface is the key. You know better than me that uh, in in uh, in drug delivery. Uh, what is uh, the very important key is always the, the surface uh, in order to understand and reaching uh, uh, the right point uh, in, in the right moment, the right place. Uh, just uh, in a small uh, precision uh, uh, word about precision. So what is a nano emulsion and what is a micro emulsion? Uh, the main difference is, uh, is uh, for people who, who doesn't, does not know, is that the nano emulsion is, is a is a thermodynamically unstable system. So over time, uh, it, it probably can 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 grow to to separated phases. Why the micro emulsion uh, is is a thermodynamically stable system and is very difficult to be uh, separated in phases all of the time. So uh, I mean, that's uh, something a few words about critical cell concentration, hydrophobic life under the HLB and crack point. I mean all, all things that you know. Very well. Uh, we work, of course, uh, with uh, a strong, uh, um, strong uh, uh, surfactant uh, um, with, with particular HLB in order to avoid the, 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 the presence of uh, um, energy, strong energy. Solid dipping nanoparticles here are reported the main, uh, the, the main, the main pattern all over. You, you see the, the first one is uh, is Gasco and. Uh, and Müller in, in Germany, so that the two guys were reaching the same system with two different kinds of uh, approach by warm micro emulsion and high pressure homogenization. Then the, the methods have come uh, all over, uh, but very um, a lot of them uh, in order to, to do the same the same kind of system. Uh, 
very briefly, the solid lipid nanoparticle by, by, by warm micromotion, uh, you have to melt uh, uh, lipid, of course, uh, in which you are going to load the, the, the drug. Uh, you, you prepare the, the surfactant uh, in, in uh, water. You warm up the, um, both, uh, both the two phases. You mix the two phases. And uh, the formation is spontaneous. Of course, you have to study for, uh, for having the right ratio in, uh, in surfactant uh, and, uh, and lipid. And then the, you, you can go for micromotion cool dispersion in, in cool temperature. You just disperse the, 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 the small drops of a micromotion and you obtain the SLN formation. It's quite system. Uh, uh, that's, that's the main basis of, the, of our system in the, in the beginning. The characterization techniques uh, are the usual one for, uh, for the one uh, for, for um, for all the nano, the nano stuff, uh, let's say, I point out your uh, your uh, your attention, especially on size exclusion chromatography, uh, which uh, is is very important to understand the the real composition of the of the of the of the carrier, because uh, being these kinds of system with surfactant, uh, sometimes the micelles uh, and and the different kinds of nature can be can be present, and and uh, size exclusion gives you good good. Uh, Good way to, to understand uh, more about your system. Uh, so starting from uh, from these kinds of uh, of method. Oh, pardon. Can I come back? Uh, the, the main characteristic are the range of, of dimensional range. It can be very small to a little bit more uh, big. I reported these kinds of uh, images to understand is one micron that, so that the, the, the composition, although it's, it's a simple method without any sorting, any pressure, any High pressure homogenizer inside uh, is quite homogeneous in size distribution. Uh, you can wash by tangential filtration in order to remove the surfactant. You can freeze dry, you can sterilize by different kinds of, of things, of, of methods. And of course, you've got the possibility to play on surface for charge modification, just to change it to positive or negative, and to insert precursor for bioconjugation. Uh, I'm, I'm speaking about few things about some uh, some projects. Uh, uh, this one was uh, in in that project. So new SLN, uh, we we studied there the new SLN matrix, a third generation uh, uh, mixture cholesterol esters. Uh, we worked to stabilize uh, the, the formulation in order to apply the bioconjugation. Uh, so we set up the tio male by bioconjugation. We set up this, the size exclusion chromatography in order to understand how much of the of the drug you want to join. You want to when a link to your particle is effectively linked to the particles. And we tested antibody and the peptide derivative of body protein, which is reported in this paper. Please go and, and see the papers for you will be more easy to understand all the uh, biological the biological characterization. So what we, we did is just to set up the particles, so to put uh, malamidin outside. Uh, and then to go for the conjugation of, uh, of the this peptide, which is a um, Apo, mono apoe uh, residue uh, of uh, the human apoe. Uh, we purify for uh, for tangential perfiltration and uh, for size exclusion chromatography. Uh, mainly, the results uh, say that uh, in um, in the uptake. Uh, so we, uh, as by the previous uh, the previous uh, slides, for for a good uh, for a good um, studies of, of the behavior of the particle, we radio label the particle with two radio radio label, uh, tritium and uh, C14, and two fluodies in order the contemporary uh, looking at, at the at the spices at, 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 the, at the labels uh, can can confirm that you are not looking at something that is moving by itself, which is quite typical in these kinds of uh, um, of study. So the uptake confirmed that, that, that uh, in, in presence of the APOE, the uptake was definitely um, bigger than, than uh, with the cysteine only uh, SLN. So to, to, to have the comparison, we just use cysteine. And uh, in, a, in a transwell insert mimicking uh, the, the, the blood brain barrier, uh, the passage uh, due to the yeah, the peptide was, uh, was definitely um, Bigger uh, comparing to the the, the un, un, uh, unfunctionalized carrier. <clears throat> In vivo administration uh, has been uh, tested by intraperitoneal, intravenous, uh, and uh, intratracheal uh, in, uh, installation. And uh, the most promising uh, show to be uh, the intratracheal uh, um, installation, as you can see by the last uh, uh, images. 
in uh, in the down in, in, in below. Uh, with with these kinds of things, we, we work also in other in other project uh, like Magnifico in order to test uh, the fragment of antibody uh, Afra synthesized by by Dompe, and uh, for another peptide um, in, which is locked with the Candiola Hospital here in Torino uh, in a BAMP project. Um, our main focus is now the um, ophthalmic application. I haven't seen uh, in the previous presentation yet the, the ophthalmic application. I do believe that uh, also in ocular uh, there's a huge huge room for for a nanotechnology uh, nano based product. Um, retinitis pigmentosa is a, is a huge uh, is a big uh, big uh, disease uh, affected uh, one to four thousand people. And one of the major causes of, uh, of blindness in, in the developed world. Um, the team was a biochemist, a neuro neuroscientist, electrophysiologist, and, and myself for, for the formulation aspects. Uh, the problem, the problem is that uh, uh, so the problem, the, the, keep, the, 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 the starting of the of the approach was that um, the ceramide. Uh, ceramide Contributes to the the has, a, has got a prophetic role uh, messenger in uh, in neuronal pathologies, like uh, reported here from from the from the paper. Of course, uh, the increasing level of the novel synthesis can be associated uh, with the beginning of death uh, of uh, uh, cone and uh, um, and roads in uh, in uh, in the model. Uh, of course, uh, appropriate layers of ceramide are necessary for differentiation, but uh, um, from the study they, they, they start uh, at the beginning, they show that in RD model, uh, the level of ceramide effectively was increasing over, over time in, uh, in, the, in, the, in the RD10 uh, mice model. So uh, the guys, uh, the, the, the scientists, uh, find out the meliosin, which can block uh, the synthesis. Uh, uh, so, so it's, uh, it's an inhibitor of the synthesis of the novel synthesis of ceramide by uh, inhib inhibiting the, the serine permitting transferases. And uh, uh, go for testing uh, uh, this approach in order to reduce the, the, the photo degeneration in the, in the model. So the, the target was the, the novel synthesis of ceramide. Uh, the, the, the problem is that, uh, I'm sorry, in the, in, the previous, uh, in the previous slide, you can see that uh, they tested by intravitreal injection. Well, uh, the, 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 the mice was about 10 grams uh, uh, at the age, age of uh, 14 days, so they couldn't test for, for long, uh, long um, administration of the, of the same drug. And that's the reason why they, 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 they come to, to look if uh, nanotechnology can give uh, an answer to that. So we set up by our systems uh, a, um, a formulation uh, which was characterized in, in, in very good way. Uh, this is the, 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 the DLS of the, of the formulation of the Miliosin SLN, uh, which is uh, very small in uh, diameter and as you can see the PDI was, uh, was very good, so very easy to be filtrated for, for sterility. And uh, uh, finally, they can administer for 20 days uh, to, to, to rats, to mice, sorry, uh, and prove uh, uh, effectively that uh, the, the increase of photoreceptor survival after chronic treatment can be demonstrated because they give that every day, three times a day uh, to, the, to the mice, uh, the, the, port, the, the, the myosin formulated in, uh, in solid uh, lipid nanoparticles. Uh, we went, uh, they, they went through, of course, and they repeated the second, uh, so the, the second paper comes from this, up to seven, uh, so for, for um, 60 days of administration and can show that the, the, the rods effectively are maintained, the consorts are maintained much more better uh, comparing to the, the, the control, so the, the, the normal, uh, normal stage. Of course, we are speaking of model, uh, for example, I, I hope that uh, these kinds of uh, of things will be will be make easier from uh, initiative like the previous described before, because one of the project in, in these kinds of of, uh, of disease uh, is that it, it takes so long time to be demonstrated that, that the key point that we work a lot, but it was very difficult to find uh, money to 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 get this this uh, this project uh, a little bit ahead. Other project in which we work with uh, nucleic acid delivery um, was the DNA trap. 
where uh, the company Procalda uh, proposed uh, his, his approach uh, with the transcription factor of the coi to be uh, given to bacteria in order to block the synthesis of protein once you are touching the where you are, you are biting the, the the bacteria itself so giving the possibility not to having a, a reaction by the bacteria uh, they've got these kinds of molecules with Ebola amplified uh, we were taking uh, in the in the in the, in the team uh, uh, for the formulation, for an, an, one of the possible formulation tested in the project. So we set up as well three or four kinds of, of, uh, of SLN, and we went for a, a layer by layer coating strategies. Uh, so we, we used the, the, the particle for a layer by layer. So we apply the, 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 the things on the outside of the particle, not inside the, the, the vectors. Different kinds of particles have been done. I'm going fast because I'm going to, to, to out of time. And this is the, the, the formulation. So uh, you, you can see that effectively the, the TFD uh, is, uh, is kept by, by the formulation. And uh, uh, treating with the DNAs, uh, the asterisk means, uh, the stars means uh, that we, we run the, 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 the TFD uh, once we, we remove from the from the formulation treated with DNAs is uh, intact after after the uh, the incorporation by the system, meaning that we are uh, blocking and protecting the um, the the, 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 uh, the nucleotide. Um, short short things about uh, approach in uh, oral delivery. We are speaking about. Uh, 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 melatonin. This paper has been published uh, uh, quite recently. So people uh, in uh, uh, in hospital took took this uh, this kinds of, uh, of drug formulated in uh, transdermal and HOS. HOS is the comparison between uh, in formulation in SLN and in uh, normal uh, available uh, um, melatonin. Um, of course, uh, the, 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 it demonstrates that, uh, that the enteral administration of melatonin can, um, can be obtained uh, and better uh, by formulation, even by transdermal. So by formulation of micro emulsion uh, directly on the skin of the patient. Uh, this one was a previous uh, paper on melatonin in which you can see how it, 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 the, the area under the curve once you give melatonin in SLN. And even when you see the, the, the transdermal application, so after many hours, uh, the, the level it, it was uh, going up. But even when you when the pitch removal was uh, was actuated, the, the level still remained very high. So meaning that that there are rooms to to understand the better uh, dosage for, of this form. Uh, I go through, I mean, I won't just to mention this kind uh, which has been done in 2007. You can go for, for C, the, 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 the approach was, was with uh, an anti-AGF reporting that this one was made by uh, oil, so water in oil in water microemulsion, a multiple microemulsion in which the oligonucleotide was inserted inside the formulation, inside the core of the, um, of the nanoparticles. Now we are just setting up these kinds of. We are working more on non emulsion. That is our work. We are not working any more that much in research. If I can say, we are much, we're much more working on a, a development of small product, but more close to market. The problem uh, of my previous uh, colleague uh, uh, clearly explained uh, how is the risk in this field. Uh, when you're speaking about uh, uh, about nano formulation, uh, the re regulatory is very very difficult to, to face, uh, and also for for going to to GMP uh, development, uh, these are all the other, our phases that that you set up with these kinds of things. Uh, these are the formulation we are studying now with the different kinds of uh, uh, of uh, other projects, but always the same uh, nano emulsion uh, for for uh, ophthalmic product. Uh, we inserted uh, uh, the malamide also in these kinds of things, also for research uh, project. Uh, uh, we, we tested this uh, uh, as, a, as an appendix, uh, of course. Uh, I like to see uh, to show these kinds of uh, images. Let's say that a few years ago it, we, we feel much more like this, and now we are feel much more like the, the guy on the right. Uh, but uh, so we are just moving to be a sort of crafter of nano. Uh, that's uh, what I like. I like to, to speak about ourselves. Um, 
but we are proposing Austin Young researcher and assisting them with formulation skills and physical chemical characterization from thesis and one stop uh, low cost renting formula, uh, if I can suggest. And um, I guess is uh, is all, all and uh, I thank you very much for your kind attention.